Professionals across Africa have converged in Lagos to chart the cause for borderless work. At the gathering of the largest work festival in Africa, organized by HR Expo Africa, renowned resource persons showcase and share insights on what the future of work in the global workplace looks like today. Justin Akadonyi tells us more. Participants have gathered at this hall and virtually. The focus is on various aspects of the workplace or the main mission to deepen the reflection on the future world of work. The right skill, and not just skills in terms of technical skills, even on the soft side. Now the interactive sessions focus on emerging trends in human capacity development as they relate to various sectors of the economy, including hiring in a borderless world. Every construct, whatever, or let me just use that word, would come with its own peculiarities, with its own peculiar challenges. So the worry for HR people now is how do you effectively um, manage um, remote teams? How do you source for the right talent? How do you onboard them? And how do you keep them motivated? How do you reward them? You know, and, you know, just general different um, approaches to managing people. We are beginning to talk about remote work fatigue, you know, and, you know, organizations are putting structures and systems in place to address that. Thinking about how do you create engaged, personalized employee experiences for your people. In addition to that, how are you thinking about onboarding and training and investing in talent branding for your people? And lastly, how the future of remote work isn't necessarily the future, it's the now. And are you creating flexible structures, optionality for how your people are going to be working at home, but also making it, making it optional for them to work at home. Work is changing. The way we work is changing. Uh, borderless is here to stay. So how do we manage this? How do we get ahead of this? And whenever you doubt yourself, I'd ask you to remember today. I remember meeting a CEO sitting in Nairobi running a company in Nigeria with 100 plus employees, with 1,000 plus sales agents, and having a company where she hasn't met most of these people in person. The organizers and speakers alike say it is imperative to feel the agility and inventiveness of people by investing in disruptive learning and business opportunities that radically challenge conventions and norms and provide catalysts for new possibilities. So when you talk borderless work, and our, if you look at our population, our um, youth population is about, I think, close to 60% of um, our total population. So look at this number of people that have. If you compare to India, India is all constantly outsourced their talent because they are also a populous country. So now with borderless work, that's the future for Nigeria in terms of what I say. So our people can sit down in their homes and work for different organizations across the world because now the world is borderless. You can work for Microsoft in Lagos and you don't have to travel to New York. You can work for different, you can even work for a small startup in any country. You can work in Ukraine without leaving. And I know that the government is working on infrastructure challenges. So I sat with someone who came all the way from the U.S. and he told me that um, he's not seen anything different in terms of technology, technological advancements in Nigeria and what's happening in the U.S. Nigerians, from our own end, we are embracing technology like, like yesterday. And because we're beginning to understand that without technology, there's nothing we can do in terms of business in Nigeria. So for me, I don't see that the limitation is just for us to move faster, to catch up with what, what happened in the global space. Far-reaching issues are outlined. The professional saying it will guide the daily operations in human capacity development. The concerns are really huge and I, I feel this conference is trying to address that in the best possible ways. Uh, people have different streams of thoughts. Uh, but I've been working in consulting, I feel there are, these are times that call for critical creative thinking. Uh, uh, implementation of policies. First off, uh, it's a learning experience for me. This is my first time at this kind of expo and looking to pursue a career in it. So um, it's been wonderful. Stage themes for the two-day event include importance of leadership, showing individuals how their careers and life needs can be further enhanced, as well as create a more diverse and rewarding work environment. Justin Akadonye, Plus TV Africa. Hello. 
Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.